Davis and you're watching Hockey TV. We've come into the village behind the pitch here at the Gant Euro Hockey Championships. And we're about to watch the Netherlands versus England. So the Dutch on top of the table, courtesy of the thrashing they gave France the other day. Coach Jason Lee said that was how he dreamt it. That's how he wanted to, to beat the Irish. What has he dreamt about for the Netherlands? How are they going to beat the Netherlands? Great, well across on, oh, Tind Tindall went for it. Oh, that's a fantastic ball, it's released. Van Ast and a goal! It's 1-0 to the Netherlands. And after all that pressure from England down the other end, Van Ass drives down the right-hand side. And sets up what a terrific reverse stick shot this is. And that's a fabulous strike by Billy Backer there to make it a 1 0 to uh, the Dutch. And Ball to come up. A great chance for Daly! And Daly has made it 1 all. The ball bobbled after it struck across the uh, goal by Alec Wilson. But Matt Daly controlled it, turned and shot. Absolutely wonderful response from the English here. What can the Dutch do now? 24th minute of the match, goal England. Scored by the player number 10, Matt Daly. Well, that's going to give England confidence, that. I would imagine that having had that pressure earlier on and then just watching the Dutch go down the other end and slotting it home. Albeit a very good goal by Billy Backer. But that must have been quite deflating. But England regrouped. And then when the chance has arisen, they've taken it. It's one all here in Mönchengladbach. And well, the decision's gone England's way, and that's the end of the first half. And the players will leave the uh, pitch all square. It's England one, the Netherlands one. Mantel finds Evers. De Neuer rides one tackle, and it's going to be a flick. And it was Ian Lewis that went in with a rather harsh challenge on Toyn de Nuyen. Oh no, the whistle goes. And it's in. And Taki Takima turns to the crowd. He slaps hands with Varga. And there's coach Paul Van Ass. And the Niskins in the background there. Let's have a look at the game. Concentrates, twiddles his stick, twiddles it again. One step and puts it to the right of the goal to James Fair's left. Let's look at this once again. Takima makes it 2 1. So it's 2 1 to the Netherlands here. And De Neuer comes again. And here's Varga. But Fair's down. De Neuer. Neuer moves it across. And it's in. It's Billy Backer. It's his second goal of the game. And it was 1 all at half time. But very quickly it went 2 1. And even quicker it's gone 3 1. The Dutch are in control here in Munchen Gladbach. But watch this. Jackson. Out of shot. Jackson is talking to the umpire. I don't think he's going to come to anything. He's asking questions, but there's there's no referral there. 28, Billy Backer. The Neuer here calmly just moves it across, and Billy Backer swipes it in. Dixon down the line to McKay. McKay driving the baseline. McKay has got in there. There's a chance. 
Still McKay. And McKay's put it in. McKay has followed up and he's picked up the scraps and he's managed to force it past Yap Stockwin in the Dutch goal. It's England back in it. They're still behind. It's the Netherlands three, England two. But England are right back in it. Let's have a look at this again. There goes the shot. There's a stick in it's bobbling. And McKay seems to get in front of Stam and just put it underneath. Stockman. 54th minute of the match. Goal. There it is. McKay puts it under Stockman. Goal, uh, England scored by the player with the number 23. And Matt Daly comes back and gets shoved in the back himself by Verger. And now England can get the ball away. Kirkham. Kirkham's lost out. Here's Billy Backer. Score of. He's got a chance here. He scored again. James Fair just had to watch the ball fly past him. Bakker has his third, he's got his hat-trick and the Netherlands have restored their two-goal advantage. Berger gives a little wave. 57th minute of the match. Dutch women's team there looking on. Let's have a look at this again. By the player with the number 28. Kirkham there, Kirkham lost out. And it was Bakker who picked it up here and charged past two England players and then fired a rocket past James Fair in the England goal. 4-2 the Netherlands. Lewis gets beaten there. Bakker gets time, composes himself. And knocks the casing off that ball. Inside for Kirkham. Kirkham across for McKay. McKay scoring the second goal. Middleton tries to get in there, we've got another goal, Jackson has scored! The ball's bobbing around, Middleton had a go, he couldn't get it in, it bobbled up and Jackson was there to spin and shoot! And he runs about carrying the ball. Come on fellas, let's get on with it, let's get, a, let's get an equaliser. Minute of the match, goal England, scored by the player with the number 7, Ashley Jackson. There's Middleton, up it goes, Jackson straight onto it, straight past Stockman, here he is Middleton, tries to lift it up, there's a Dutch stick in there, it takes the pace off it, Jackson hits it into the turf and it bounces up into the roof of the net, it's 4-3 here at Mönchengladbach in this Pool B game. Ah, oh, there we go, Evers extends the Dutch lead once again, it's burst off. Roderick Verstoff, number nine, as clean as you like, comes in, picks the ball and drags it in. Hoffman drags it, there's Verstoff. This will be a great view. You can see it coming down here and it's flown past Fair's right foot and he couldn't stop it. But hang on, there's going to be a referral. We've got a referral here. Let's have a look at this now. The ball is the ball on the line. Left the line. The answer the is no goal. Good spot, England. There, look at that. that. The English in the crowd are willing them forward. The Dutch are counting down. The Neuer has the ball, and if you're a Dutch supporter, that's the man that you want to have the ball. The hooter goes, and the Dutch have won this encounter 4-3. So an absolutely fantastic game to finish off day three here at the Gant Euro Hockey Championships. Unfortunately, if you're an England supporter, not such a good result. Let's get the, uh, the views of uh, Andy Halliday. Uh, you know, we sort of got ourselves back into the game in the first half and, um, and you know, it's one of these nip and tuck games, end to end. Some great hockey. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, you know, a crazy first five minutes for us in the second half where we, we really gave ourselves a... Well, you know, the north wall of the Eiger to climb in the second half, having, having you know, matched Holland. Maybe we deserved a little bit also the, 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 the win, because we always were, two, after the second half, always two games uh, ahead. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but it was a fantastic game and uh, England did well. It's always nice to play against England because the energy level is very high and they really make it a fight. And that's what we, we needed. We both, the both teams needed a fight like this. Paul Van Aas speaking to me just a few moments ago and Andy Halliday before that. So it was a fantastic game, seven goals and 4-3 uh, victory to the Netherlands. Anyway, thank you for logging on to Hockey TV. From all of us here in Munch and Gladbach, for the time being, goodbye. <laughs>